Hey everybody, Substatica here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can extend the tide on a save file of Into the Radius 2 Early Access. I use this extensively when clearing the new Pechorsk Outskirts map, and I'm going to show you how. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 100,000 subscribers, and I'd love to have you on the team. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if this method works for you and why you used it. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a hex editor so we can edit the save file. I use HXD, and there will be a link in the description to where you can go download HXD, but any hex editor will work. Next, we need to find our Into the Radius 2 early access save files. And they're going to be somewhere like users, your Windows username, documents, my games, Into the Radius 2, the profile that you want to edit a save from, and then single for single player. I'm not sure if this is going to work with multiplayer games. You can try it, but your mileage may vary. We are going to go ahead and open up the save directory on this machine, and we are going to drag, in this case, save1.save into HXD. Now in HXD, we have a hexadecimal representation of the contents of the file here. On the left, in the center, we have a text representation of the contents of the file, and then we have some decoded values on the right. What we're going to do is put our cursor inside the text portion of the file, make sure that it's focused, and we are going to search for the string game real ticks. So I'll just copy that from below, press Control F to find, either paste or type in the string game real ticks, and select OK. That's going to bring us to game real ticks, which is basically the current time in the game. And what we're going to do is copy the value of the current time over the next property, which is last tide real ticks. So we're going to set the last tide to the current time, therefore resetting the tide to its full length of three days. And we're going to do that by looking at the next string in the text section, which is uint64 property. We're going to put the cursor after that string, so right after the y. And you can see here on the left that we have 0008. So we want to select right after the 08, there's a 00, and we want to select the next eight bytes or count them. And a byte is going to be two digits here in hexadecimal. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that brings us to the actual value of that property, the game real ticks, which is starting with this eight zero. So what we're going to do now is select the next eight bytes starting at this eight zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight bytes or 16 digits here on the hexadecimal side. And that is the value of game real ticks. So we're gonna press Control C to copy that. Make sure that we are on the hexadecimal side, that this is highlighted and dark blue. It's going to be light blue if we're not focused this side. So now that we've copied that value, we want to basically find the same spot in the next property to paste the value. So you can see we have last tied real ticks as if we had just searched for that string. We're going to put the cursor after uint64 property. And we can see here on the left, it's a 00, zero followed by a 08. So we want to put the cursor after the 08. Again, select eight bytes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this next value is going to be what we're pasting over. I just want to double check that because we don't usually start with a 00 there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks right. So now what we're going to do is select the value of this property, which is the next eight bytes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have the value of last tied real ticks selected. And since we have game real ticks copied, we can simply paste game real ticks 
over last tied real ticks. So I'm just going to press Control V. And you can see that we've pasted the value of game real ticks over last tied real ticks. And that's it. I'm going to press Control S to save this file. And you can see over here that HXD actually made a backup for us. So if we want to revert, it's there as save one dot save dot BAK for backup. But now when we load up save one, the tide will have a full three days left on it. Once again, let me know if this works for you in the comments. And if you're interested in getting 10 to 20% off your MetaQuest games and apps, you can use the link in the description and you'll be supporting this channel at the same time. Also like, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff helps. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Drop dead, you scum!